Not that expected, so I won't be streaming for as long. Really memorize the um, the water, but I think it's equal parts water to uh, fuel output. So I need 48.75 water according <laughs> according to me um, notes. Walls around this again.
that's going to be a hit there. Like I had an auto save while I wasn't looking. You do. Just getting this uh, water packing facility done. Ah, yes, it needs to get a manager in the middle. I'm talking to myself a little bit, I don't <laughs> talk out loud as much. Yeah. Um, the voice mate thing. Yeah, that's fine. <coughs> right, yeah. So what I'm doing at the moment is, I, when I was setting up my fuel plant yesterday, um, and uh, like, uh, like later in, uh, in the week, I've completely forgot that I've got to send out a separate line of fuel for fuse modular frame along that viaduct. Oh, this is only the plastics factory. You've got the uh, ingots and bauxite over there. You've got the frame mortars, copper and titanium stuff over there. Uh, that's the space elevator stuff distance and there's a steel facility over here and somewhere around here I haven't decided yet is going to be the nitrogen gas packing for uh, the ingots and other things wherever the hell it's going to be going not the ingots yet yeah, like the, I think there's a box like thing needs uh, Hydrogen gas. 
it on this side? Yeah. Nitrogen gas needed for cooling unit. I am figuring out how I want to play the game before I figure out I want, how I want the game to look. It's a lot simpler that way. <laughs> yeah, I've got basic big design principles I have uh, for myself. But yeah, this aesthetics are the priority for me. Like one of the ch things I tried uh, earlier in the year was, uh, or late last year, was I was watching the uh, intro sequence of Discovery and I liked the like, green and red aesthetic, so I was trying to replicate that colour scheme in Satisfactory and it just didn't work at all. Just putting the walls around this platform. Bean likes to crawl under it and get stuck. So we got to make sure uh, don't sneak under. Now I have um, unlocked one of the window walls. I just haven't got the parts for it at the moment. So eventually, like the arches and stuff, is going to be exposed. But for now, I just have to hide it behind. Uh, Walls because of the beans. I right, have to rebuild some shit, I think. Because there's a fourth line going to be coming over here. And I can kind of get away with that. Oh, sorry, 3,800 <laughs> hours in the game. Uh, just, like, every now and then, I, like, I restart. Because as I'm building, I'm thinking, like, these ways I can be doing things that would make my life uh, easier in terms of building the factory out. So yeah, so, so every, every now and then I restart, so, but as, as I'm playing, I'm continuously thinking of uh, ways to improve what I'm doing. And when I have enough ideas that I can't integrate into the current session, that's when I restart. Yeah, I don't like to let me uh, voice clip too much, so it's uh, kind of in the green a bit. Give the give the number the, the dial a tweet. What is that? That should be a little bit better now. I'm just trying to make sure it doesn't peek into red too much. Is that gonna make it all the way round? No. Uh, well, that's there anyway. So these might get expanded later. Oh crap, that's not long enough. Yeah, 
so these might get expanded later, but their uh, positions are going to be fine. There's going to be water shipped up to um, plastic and rubber for uh, the body res processing, but that can come from like over that side rather than this side. I thought I'd got. Oh no, I haven't connected it to the thingy. <laughs> I use blueprints sparingly. Like, um. Oh, not that one. So I've got blueprints for setting up music ziggurats, but because there's uh, 8 meter. Like, not 8 meter. Because there's an 8 segment um, height limit to the blueprint designer, I can't blueprint um, these floors because those are 10 segments. Um, I've got. This little blueprint, which comes in handy for running those really long viaducts. Um, and we've got these directory signs, which help us keep track of where I am in the factory floor. And then the uh, factory output sign, which helps us keep track of how much I'm uh, sitting out on each manifold. But other than that, I'm not really doing blueprints because it's, it's quite often I'm finding myself thinking of like, oh, I could blueprint this, but the effort of having to go run out to the nearest blueprint designer because uh, at one point I had two, and now I've just got the one laid out, and uh, like inter basically interrupt what I'm doing. To go faff around with the blueprint designer, it's just not a, a, a efficient use of my time. Uh, when I eventually get around to a modded playthrough, that like, things might uh, change a bit, but. For now, I don't think I'm going to be adding any more blueprints to this game. Well, I might add more blueprints, just not more uh, blueprint categories. Like when I eventually get around to doing um, nuclear power, which might actually happen for a change, because I've unlocked it twice, but I've never deployed it. So I've always had enough things to uh, need to restart for. Um, I haven't put the nuclear refinement directory thing in here because I don't know how I want to lay it out. I don't even know for sure where I want to build it. Like Because we're in the rocky desert, there's a source of uranium up there, so we could put the nuclear power plant over in that uh, vicinity. But, eh. So that'll be a new blueprint, but it won't be a new blueprint category. Uh, because the volumes of production that I'm producing are fairly low, where I am only producing one machine's worth of output uh, for storage, and then the prerequisites to produce that, uh, I've got this issue where the size of the manifolds that I'm doing don't call for spending time doing blueprints. Oh, hang on a second. Uh, which direction is this? Okay, so this will be a splitter here. Okay. 
go. Fell off. Yeah, sometimes I feel like Coffee Stain actually put in deliberate code that beans are attracted to factories. Because they sure do seem to love congregating around them. Yeah, because uh, like, you, you very rarely see the non-flying bird um, come up into your factory, but you always see the bean come up into your factory. Now, part of that is um, down to the pathfinding that they use. Okay, get the fuck out of the way. Thank you. So they use the small creature pathfinding because the, 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 the um, historical issues with... There we go. Uh, historical issues with the large creature pathfinding is which is the reason why the crowd boss hasn't been implemented. Um... So there's like things where the Crater Lakes core facility, I've got fairly low ceilings over my uh, water extractors. So one thing I've observed is if they clamber up on the right part of the water extractor, they can glitch through the ceiling uh, and end up in the compacted coal floor. Uh, so stuff like that, that's like glitching behavior. But stuff where like they keep congregating towards all of these platforms and getting stuck under them. That seems suspiciously deliberate. I do both. Back end and front end. One of the one of the artifacts from uh, mid Korea is um, I wouldn't describe myself as full stack. It's a consequence of like the roles I tend to pick up. When I worked in web development, uh, one of the things I really disliked is when web designers would refuse to learn um, like the, the tools that we use to actually build the websites. Because quite often we'd be presented with uh, like a single desktop design with like no scope for um, like responsive web design or like mobile design. It took a while to actually get the get me narcissistic shit stain of a boss to actually insist on them producing mobile layouts. And like the issue that I found is that when they, even when they're just producing the desktop layouts, quite often what they'd end up doing is just having zero awareness of how Text reflows. There we go. Twenty four point three seven five divided by one hundred and twenty. So 
so like the designer would be insistent, like, oh, you've got to make sure it looks like this uh, on like every single browser and layout. That's like a lot of fucking nonsense. Because the design tools have got a different kerning system than browsers. So you've got all these designers we had over the years refusing to learn CSS so they can just have like a basic awareness of okay, how do you want your design to function? So basically what I end up having to do is half of someone else's job. Which I really don't like doing. Because it leads to another anecdote of a co-worker I had who seemed to have this habit of whenever he went on his annual leave, he'd typically end up launching at a site the day before. And then he'd go on holiday, and then I'd find a fuck ton of things wrong with it, and I'd be the one that has to fix it. So I get quite annoyed about that. So, yeah, me, me typical role um, in, in those companies was uh, taking a front-end design and implementing it in whatever CMS uh, the client needed to. It's also one of the reasons why I categorically refuse uh, to work with WordPress in a professional setting ever again. Because it's one of those things where it's so straightforward that you know, the designer could just do the bloody design themselves in WordPress, because, like, you could just open the theme editor and do it. But also the, the, the fact that the PHP code behind WordPress is a whole bunch of trash and the plugin system annoys the shit out of us. Yeah, finally got that cleared up. Now, there was a plant somewhere around here I needed to blow up. Ah, here it is. One of my design principles is I don't like um, plants intersecting my foundations. But that's t caused a problem up until, like, recent weeks because I don't like using the chainsaw and I don't like creating, uh, collecting... Um, plant biomass, or I've always thought to be biomass from uh, creature parts. But when I started playing around with Nobelisks during this playthrough, because it's update 8, I get to blow uh, rocks up. I oh, know if I get plants in my inventory, I have to load the last save. Um, I tried blowing up plants a few times just to see how it like if I felt comfortable with it. It feels okay as long as I don't blow trees up. Um unintentionally, but then like there's been a few cases where I've needed to blow trees up when like when I've been laying these um pylons out. There we go. Now we only have the flowers intersecting the foundations, which we can't do anything about. Right, so... We've got oil barrels to fill up there. Yeah, th this stuff hasn't been um, laid out yet because of the three oil, uh, sets of oil barrels that need to go up there. So, of course, I haven't figured out where those lines are coming down. I can't really figure out where those two lanes are going to merge. So the fuel plant isn't fired up yet.
Okay, let's air some stuff. Well, I think this is the beam... Well, this might be... Well, I don't know if it is the beam. This might be the beam that I whacked off the um, platform earlier. Okay, looks like it's stuck there. Worst case scenario, I have to turn it into a Nobelisk Hedgehog, then blow it up. Okay, it fell off. See, this is the kind of bullshit I'm on about, where they just get stuck under the platform. <laughs> oh, hang on a second. <laughs> Fuck that. Oh, sorry, it's going to get stuck there. This is what I mean about the, the thing where they use the small creature pathfinding. So, because like the lizard doggo and the smaller spitters and that can quite easily walk under here because the pioneer can. So can the bean. So, I need to double check that I put the number on both sides for you, and then I'll be done. Right, hang on a second, I've just got to zoom in on the uh, YouTube studio a bit, because I'm, I'm doing live stream clipping stuff still, just um, on YouTube, not in Losses Cut, so that's why there's no screen share for it. And there's a 45 minute video that I've got to cut segments out of on YouTube because there's a feature missing. Ross was cut, so I can't do that work offline. Here we go. Yeah, so the archive channel and website won't be getting updated until late the evening, probably. <laughs> Yeah, everything's good. So th those will fill up eventually, and then they'll uh, stop drawing power. Watch more British programming. Solves the problem.
Great British Bake Off doesn't count. Uh, let's see if I can uh, just set up one of my favourite features of Update Age. Eh. It's really annoying when, it doesn't, when I can't get that working. Eh. Okay, let's go down and then I'll have more run up. You can parachute upstairs. Oh yeah, that's not even the best part. You can parachute backwards upstairs. So you can parachute uphill both ways. Okay, I don't need to sort out the viaducting for um, oil, uh, not oil, uh, rubber yet. I need to get this sorted though. Right, um, how much plastic output have I got here? Okay, so there's two plastic outputs over there. I don't think I'm sending any down. Must be not to say. Point two point four six nine two plus two point five plus twenty. Oh, I missed a, a thing. Yeah, so there's only three outputs. All right. So some of these are going to be based off uh, oil. Some of them aren't. So there's going to be. Plastic out, water out, and uh, empty oil barrels out. And that one's going to just be plastic out, and then plastic out. I'm not sure which order I want to do these in. Because one of them is warehouse uh, and two of them are heading out on the bayonet. Let's just pause that YouTube video while I think. probably want the warehouse to be closer to the staircase because they won't have as many redundant tiles uh, for the lower down floors. Which would mean these two would be going onto the viaduct. Now what I could do is I could uh, sneak them around onto this one tile which would mean the column support would go there.
Hold tight. Yeah, hang on a second. We're going to share this thing. So this this needs to actually carry three lanes, not two. So let me just got to establish that, so we don't have any weird bars. Yeah, thanks for joining. Uh, have a safe day. I shall be back streaming on later this afternoon after lunch. So I'll be popping off in about 20 minutes. Right, thanks for the follow. Bye. Right. Canisters are going to drop off. Pretty sure where the four canisters are on top. Check that. Yep. So this isn't going to be uh, stacked here. Let's get the direction right. Six, four, five, six, five, six, four, five, six. That is a fun. Fantastic coincidence. <laughs> I did not plan that in any way, shape, or form. This is what happens when the hotkeys get stuck. You end up with some really weird shit.
five. Six. Yeah, this is where we get in, run into problems. And we want to drop that fuel down. Right in the middle. Have holes here, we might not. Uh, also, we need to find out where the column's going to be for that. Am I downloading something else other than that streaming video? Steam's doing something. Okay, apparently Steam's not doing something. It's just showing up as having uh, 0 0.1 megabytes a second. Weird. So if that ends here, that means we're going to be using uh, conveyor holes.
If I fucking... Oh, Tom! Bullshit! See if that's rubber and that's plastic. That's empty canisters. That means that'll be gas mask stuff. So that'll be taking a corner round there. All of the plastic and rubber will be hopping up here. I think I'll be putting the staircase in here. Building this the wrong way around because uh, I'll only build them from the top down. But uh, we're not going to be having any oil barrels or rubber. Actually, yeah, we're not going to be having any rubber coming down on this tile because uh, that walks. So we should be safe just to loop around. Seems weird. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing with this because I've still got to run the oil barrels along. Let's just leave this um, connected even though I'm going to be tearing it all back down. So I need to figure out the placement of these uh, conveyor holes. Oh, that's the plastic one. I thought that was on the rubber one. Let me feel that. Right on the edge. Got supercomputer there. Right. 
Right, here we go, we have a problem. So what I need to do is put a floor hole in here. Discount. Yeah, that's far wide. Yeah, that's going to need a belt hole. We need to go get Mark 3 belt parts. Well, oh, the yawning suggests Josh should be coming after order lunch. Tube.
make the Mark III belt parts.
Right, have I missed something? One, two, three, four, five, six. That column's in the wrong fucking place. Middle needs to be removed. Don't end up having to be a post lunch thing. Saved. Okay, so I am going to pop off to order lunch. I'm going to finish up this YouTube clip and see how much more I can get processed before I need to nap while I'm waiting for the food to arrive. So that's going to be all for now. We'll be back on later. Goodbye.